Mixon and Paco start in Grimgate. The only spot to drop a 40 kill game. We are watching this because Mixon and Paco are an EU team that just moved over to NA. This is their first FNCS playing on NA and they won week one round one, but they did it by playing placement and they got absolutely slandered on the timeline. Flames for playing for three kill wins. So they clap back by dropping a 46 kill win in game one of opens. And I want to see if you can tell the difference between an EU team playing on NA. Is EU the best region? Already one kill on the board, looking good. Looks like there's a few other teams at Grimgate. I think the minimap is bugging out. There's a fun new bug in Fortnite, unfortunately. Okay, two kills on the board, good start. How many more teams do we have here? One other team here. It is an opens lobby. So we got to keep that in mind when trying to look at the difference, but there was very few other teams that got a higher kill win than Mixon and Paco today on NA. So we can't be flaming them for playing placement and then turning around and saying it's opens, it doesn't count. Because you got to pick one. You can't pick both. Paco and Mixon are representing EU very well right now. Maybe not so much in this fight. We almost just got bodied by Ben. Never mind. All right, we're good. Okay. We locking it down. We just killed a bunch of crown winners, bro. Why does everyone who dropped Grimgate have a crown? <laughs> All right, there's only a few other teams nearby. A lot of teams getting real aggressive here. No one's at Underworld. That's got to be a visual bug. That has to be a replay bug. There's no way there's zero people at Underworld. All right, we're locking down the boss early. They did patch the, the glitch to try to keep the boss, like, server spawning in the walls. So you kind of got to verse him a bit more in the open now, which is not too bad, but it's a lot worse in solos. Not so bad in duos. But Mixon and Paco are looking extremely good coming into Grand Finals. They're already in semifinals. They've already gotten enough points to make semis off the bat. I know the format is confusing, but if a team gets top 150 in either of the qualifying weeks, even if they got zero points in the other week, they still make semis. So Mixon and Paco, they have made round two, obviously, with this performance. They made this week's round two. But even if they didn't make it out of round one this week, they were already in semifinals. We will get to see Mixon and Paco at least play semis. I will be very surprised if this duo doesn't make grants. They're looking good. But we haven't really seen them in a set lobby yet on NA. They showed up for FNCS. We didn't get to see them play in any duo cash cups, unless I'm mistaken. So we haven't seen how this duo goes in a set lobby on NA. And that will be the real indicator of how good they're looking. Oh, this team is very unaware of what's going on right now. And oh, we're straight in the box. Okay. Oh, boy. Mixon putting one down. Paco a little bit further away. Paco letting him take his 1v2 to farm material in the cone. I mean, that duo wasn't looking too scary. Paco doesn't even think to help Mixon. Doesn't even look over. Just, yeah, you bro, you got this. I got brick to farm. How good is this duo on EU? They're good, man. So Paco and Mixon have both made grand finals many times. Uh, Mixon and Blaha was actually one of my most underrated duos over the last probably like six months or so before they split. Very, very good Polish duo. And Paco's now taking his two. Oh, Paco has the medallion right now. Never mind, Paco has it. Looks like Paco's carrying the medallion. But that's eight kills on the board already. We are looking good. Yeah, eight kills on the board. No one else really around Underworld. I need to fly over here and check this. Did no one drop Underworld? Is this a, is this a replay bug or is this actually uncontested? No one dropped Underworld. Very interesting. Now we're building up on top of the, uh, the Hades room. Standard strat to take down Hades. We know there's literally no one nearby, so they can take their time. Eight kills. We still got 38 kills to go of 65. So once we get this medallion, we are moving through this lobby. I was wondering whether we were going to see this more this week. This is the problem with the FNCS format. I mean, there's quite a few in my opinion, but this round one, since there's so many teams like Mixon and Paco who've already qualified in a single week, it means this week literally is essentially irrelevant and they just fully key. They do still have to play for upper bracket. If you guys don't know, the top 250 teams make semifinals. The top 50 gets to go to upper bracket, though, which is a bit of an advantage. But some pros are actually arguing it's worse to be in upper bracket than lower bracket. So as long as you're in top 250, you have a good chance of qualifying. Ooh, looks like Mixon hears this team. And oh, no, we are not looking too hot. Oh, Paco gets hit hard, though. I say that. Never mind. Paco gets hit hard. Mixon... Has to really work hard to get this double kill. 10 Elims on the board. I can't say any of these teams have put up a significant fight so far. Sorry to say it. So far, Mixon and Paco are absolutely walking through this NA lobby. 
Ooh, office chair and TTV snipes underscore 200. The goats. The next up to try to hold on to the hopes and dreams of an entire region. Defend that NA is not better than EU. Or is. I should say. NA is better than EU. Unfortunately, we're not looking too good for it. Ooh, Paco. Don't know too much about the strat of the... The dash medallion doesn't give you as much verticality as what you would think. And oh! Oh, the shield bubble tech! Oh, never mind. I thought that was going to work for a second. OMG. Wait, POV Lacey? Uh, POV Lacey? Hello? Uh. I really do... Oh, okay. Oh, Paco goes down. Never mind. Never mind. We found the goat. Lunny FR. Oh, never mind. Okay, I'll say it now because I know it's an open zombie and people are going to get flame. I haven't had this discussion too much in my YouTube videos. Which region do I think is best? EU. EU is the best region. It is statistically the best region. It is bigger than every single other region combined. With that many players, it just has to be the best region. Unless there's something incredibly wrong, you just you can't have better players in another region. But in saying that, the tier one pros in other regions can still compete. And we've seen that on international levels. The top, like, you know, five or so teams on other regions, the best of the best, can still compete with EU's best of the best. But the average on EU in a lobby like this is going to be harder than NA or other regions. It's an opens lobby, though, so there is a little bit more room, obviously, for the average to, to spread out. All, this is just players who are in Platinum Division. That's not that hard. But once you start to get, like, if you take the 50th best player on EU... They are so much better than the 50th best player in any other region. So set lobbies are harder, especially. But that doesn't mean the best of the best in other regions can't still compete against EU's best. I mean, NA won the last international land. And hey, we'll see how this land goes. Maybe with home field advantage out of Texas, NA shows up even bigger. Proportionate to region is where you start to have a much better debate about which region's best. As far as like historically, has EU always been the best? Even with the bigger population, I feel like NA for a while there stood a chance to be the best, but that's because of practice. NA had a very good practice scene especially with Elite Discord ran by Zayt. Once EU got their practice working, that is when EU really started to catch up quickly. And since then, it's just EU's been taken off. All right, Mixon and Paco have split up very far right now. So far that my replay mode has to load to see where they both are. Paco is here and Mixon is over there. Wow, we have insane levels of confidence to split up as a duo here. 14 kills on the board. We get 46 this game. So wait. So we, we get 32 of the next 43. Oh my god. Wow. We are really struggling to find people though. Paco is going to Narnia and there is only one team out here. Mixon is all the way over here trying to find teams as well. I like splitting up, but I feel like we've gone in very poor directions to find kills right now. Looks like Mixon's found some people. It's always going to be a clustering of players around this edge, especially with the launch pads. A lot of people coming out of Mount Olympus. I'm not sure who Mixon's... I'm uh, sorry, Paco's looking for right now though. Nice snipe. Can we take down MM Sweaty? Hit the snipe. Do it. Oh, never mind. All right, here we go. Paco did find the one duo, though. We found the one duo that was down here. So never mind. I guess it was worth it. See if Paco can win his ones. We're getting kill checked pretty hard right now. We've got to bring this back. Nice. Paco's going up. Gets the cone through. Can't get the piece control. Baits the edit. Holds the pump out. We get chopped. The tree saves us, actually. So this player's teammate knows they're in a 1v2 and plays for the chop. Actually, smart gameplay from this duo. Lacken and Zealous. And he's just taking fall damage. <laughs> well, before taking fall damage, this duo was looking like one of the better duos so far in this lobby. Zealous and Lacken playing in the wood 1x2. One, one and Paco is going to disengage. Wait, Paco has two shotgun shots. We, we, wait. We're actually having to disengage because we don't have shotgun ammo. And there it is. Wait, never mind. It's a visual bug. <laughs> we do have shotgun ammo. Wait, did we? Maybe we didn't because he's only now reloading after picking it up. I think we actually didn't have shotgun ammo. All right, here we go. Now we're going back into the 1v2. We have the ammo. We can now win this. And oh, the piece control. But lacking with a good wall, wall place and holds the shotgun out for the pre-fire. Hold up. Wait a second. This duo looking solid. Mixon is over here fighting for his life in restored reels. He's currently fighting a 1v2 and also having to disengage. So at this point, Paco and Mixon are actually not looking good. If you were a betting person, you would probably say they don't go on to win this game, let alone a 46 kill win. 
Paco's really on the back foot right now. He's struggling to close this out. Misses the shot. Only has two builds and seven shotgun shots. Wait a second. We are both in terrible positions to win this game. This, wow. Not expecting this. Nice. There we go. Lacking though. Overcommits. Makes the mistake. Gets on the wall. Paco gets the med kit now. We needed that for the white heels as well. It's a straight 1v1. Paco needs to get time to get the med kit off. He blows up the gas can. Unfortunately, doesn't get damage out of it, though. Does uncover some bandages. Looks like Zealous wraps all the way around. He has one med kit. Zealous is going to try and run. He's not even looking back, though. He's going to try and play for the bush, it would seem. He's going to just fully dip. It looks like Zealous is out of here. Paco not letting him run. Tune back in with Mixin. Mixon now on 12 kills. So Mixon closes out his 1v2. He's going to push another one as well. Remember, he, remember, Mixon does have the dash medallion right now. So you would expect him to get more kills. This is an extremely unconventional 46 kill win. I say that a lot. You guys are used to hearing me say that. But this, you got you to agree with me on this one. Five kills, zero builds in zone. Struggling to close out a single 1v2. We've somehow turns into a 46 kill win. And I think it's because our opponent just crashed. Did he just crash? Homie just crashed. There's no way. He just crashed. Or his controller disconnected. Mom, get off the Wi-Fi. I'm playing FNCS. Oh my god, that is disastrous for Zealous. He has a med kit as well. Wow, that is horrifically unlucky. I'm feeling for that guy. And meanwhile, Paco heads straight into another 1v2. Because he has no idea that kid's just crashed. Oh, okay. There we go. We need that refresh. We need the material. We're going to go from seven. We got seven builds here. Nice. There we go. Back up to 130 with the med kits. Okay, Paco really needed that. Zealous dies to zone. Disastrous game here for Zealous. We have 20 kills with only 30 opponents. We kill... We kill 28 of the next 30 opponents. Bro, Mixon apparently gets moving or something. This is about to be the most ridiculous mid into endgame we've ever seen based on how many kills we have so far. This is ridiculous. NA is actually putting up a very good fight against Mixon and Paco right now. Representing well. Nice. Body snap on the way through. Mixon's going to try and start getting some of these kills. We're focusing a lot on Paco right now. Haven't been focusing on Mixon. Again, Mixon gets the Mythic Shotgun and the Dash Medallion, so... Obviously, between him and Paco, he's expected to drop the most kills. And 33 HP. Snow a Rooney Cow. We got a Marius fan. An EU fan on NA getting a chance to verse an EU pro. And unfortunately, can't put him down. Almost does. But we are not looking good. How's Paco? Is Paco starting to get a bit of momentum going? Okay, Paco. Eight kills now. Getting some momentum going. Mixon finally gets his finish. I think, does Mixon have the Siphon Medallion as well? I couldn't actually see. Mixon runs straight over him. So we might actually have one of my React videos where the whole YouTube comment section doesn't say that he's cheating. Because he just dashed straight over this dude's head. Okay, Mixon definitely didn't know where he was. He's trying to look for him now. Oh, nice snipe. Mixon playing super fast right now. He's playing super aggressive. Doesn't get the cone through. So far, we haven't seen any super fancy mechanics from either Paco or Mixon to get these kills. Just plays the peace control there. Nothing super fancy. Gonna try and close out the 1v1 now. Mixon's targeting the body. Oh, we get sniped on the high ground. 19 HP. Dude. I can't say it because I really am trying not to make all my videos sound the same, but like... I'm allowed to say this is an unconventional 46 kill win. This is one of the best games of round one on every region. And it just doesn't look like it. We've almost died each multiple times. We only have 23 kills with 28 remaining. We must... Do, do people reboot? Paco gets another kill. Paco's catching up now. He gets a knock. That's going to put him at 9 to 15. Okay, I'm all for hamming up the NA versus EU debate because it's fun. I think it's good for storyline. But NA has actually put up a really solid 
effort against Mixon and Paco. I thought we were about to watch an EU duo just absolutely run through NA. And all the NA players were going to get triggered that it looked too easy. But right now, this open lobby is actually putting up a good fight. I wonder if they should have played this game together more. I mean, they end up getting a 46 kill win, but so far, there's so many times one of them could have died here. All right. Come on, Mixon. We've got to pick up the pace here. I want to see something fancy. I want to see something impressive. Mixon and Paco are both fantastic players. But so far, I don't think they've shown it that well this game. We haven't seen any crazy mechanics. There we go. Nice. Mixon getting a bit of peace control, but doesn't want to overcommit. It is still a 1v2. Mixon really seems to like his drop down piece. He likes to drop down and take walls as he's falling. Paco gets a knock. That might have been with a sniper. Makes it 11 kills to 16. And as I click off, Mixon starts getting PC. Oh, nice read. Rex gets a good shot on the right hand, but good read from Mixon to hold his shotgun out. It's hard to follow. I'm basically watching two separate games at the same time because they're playing so separate. Oh, this Rex guy going for the window piece. So he edits the right hand window to put a stair, thinking he's going to catch Mixon on the, on the stair or under the stair. So we're versing a pretty competent player right now. I, NA's put up a really good showing. This first lobby on NA, I'm impressed. I'm very impressed, actually. They have not done this in an easy lobby. Mixon is forced to disengage and play zone again. Meanwhile, Paco is stuck in zone with no white heals, only 31 builds. And again, we only have 29 of our 46 kills. Nice. There we go. Paco gets the knock. Doesn't get the siphon. So it looks like Mixon does have the siphon medallion. And luckily, Paco finds two floppers. We needed that. Oh, okay. Now Mixon gets two kills very quickly. There we go. 18 to 13. The pace is quickening. We're in half-half zone. I'm sorry the minimap's bug doesn't show everyone is. Everyone is very close to zone. We've only got one duo. And we've got Crouton Mamadou playing the bandies in zone. Come on. Get in, son. Nice. Yup. 22. 17. Nice. 12 HP. We're in. We're in. Meanwhile, Paco and Mixon still playing so split. Oh, this is this duo is looking sketchy. This might be the first duo. Very questionable. We're playing, we're playing double in a single wood box. Oh, we're getting pressured. Finally, Paco and Mixon start playing together. Mixon pressures one wall. Paco pressures the other. And with the pins, oh, with the pincer maneuver, we finally crack open this duo. I'm not gonna lie, if Paco didn't show up here. This would have been a really hard duo to take down. Sitting in a box like that, both shotguns out. With dashing especially, that could have been it. All right, as long as my math is correct, 35 kills here. So we get 11 of the next, 11 of the next 12. This Dig Rex player, I think has been the best player in this lobby so far. Really, really good defensive piece control. Gets out of the box again, but Mixon shows up and the pressure of both of them fighting together is too much. This is what I wanted to see all game. I mean, they got a 46 kill win. It clearly worked. But I wonder if they could have got even more kills if they played together. Some of those fights really dragged out. Nice. Mixon jumps straight in. Looks like Mixon's the one getting in right now where Paco's playing a little bit more of pressure and peace control. Makes sense with how they've split up the medallions and the, uh, and the weapons. Okay, we got a few players left here in the box. Let's see if we... Ooh, can keep, pick, up, pick up the pace a little bit. Nice. Mixon gets an Elim. So far, nothing super fancy. Like, no, like, craziest, crazy mechs. It's not like Peterboard or, like, Marius when we're watching them just quad edit full piece people. Just being methodical, good gameplay. A very hard-earned 46 kill win, if I, if I do say so. Like, th there are so many times they could have died. Oh, there we go. Now we're picking up the pace a little bit. Paco trying to catch up. 17 to 23. Nice wall taken again. We get hit down to 34 HP. Oh my god. Some of these players have really good aim. Yeah, Paco does have some absurdly good mechanics. I do, I do implore you to go and watch some of Paco's videos especially. His mechanics can be extremely good. I was hoping to highlight it a bit more this game, but it's still a fun game to watch. I do think this gives a lot of credit to NA players. Because a lot of EU players do think that NA's first lobbies are just full of absolute bots. But we watched Paco and Mixon struggle a bit this game. They were playing split, though. They were not They were playing it separate. Ooh. Playing together now, though. Paco gets the peace control. Nice. Takes the cone on the bottom right edit. 
And then goes for the top right. Clinical. Reese Hub would be very proud of that one. 2v1. I wonder if this guy wins. Who is it? It's Azafito19. Oh, wait a second. Actually, Beams Paco here to open this one up. He's trying to commit to this. It's mixing decently hard too. He's actually winning at this point. He's done more damage than he's taken right now. He's back to 100-100. Paco doesn't even pop any meds. He's playing aggressive. Paco has no shield to pop, and Mixon only has the Fizzberry jar. Wait a second. Azafito could have won this, maybe. Oh my god, wait a second. I was totally kidding. I know he doesn't win, but wow. We've actually put up a good fight. Mixon has to ramp up and pop bananas on high ground. Paco has to hit a mid-air snipe, and he still almost kills him. Wait a second. That guy almost won that. All right. 46 kill win from Mixon and Paco, and wow, not what I was expecting.